Hello Earthlings, Ultraviolet Rhino from the Bronx here and today we're going to get into a 15 minute sacral chakra meditation and prior to getting into that I'm just going to explain what the sacral chakra is. It's the second chakra from the root, it's right here two inches below that navel and the things that are correlated to it is your lower back, kidneys, your liver, your prostate, your like any of the glands that's over here that all um, encompasses that area of where the sacral chakra is. And by you not having that chakra in alignment, those things start to go out of whack and you start to have adverse health effects. And I do not want you to have that. So in order to deal with those things, you have to use the time wisely that you have on this planet for introspection, really looking inward and seeing the problems of the reason why you may be having in this current time. And in order to do that, you have to deal with you. You can't use vices to take you away from you. It's very easy for us to do that. We start to resort to drinking and getting drunk and not really understanding what's happening <laughs> in that moment and not being present. I'm doing drugs, being obsessed with pornography, which is horrible. Not dealing with our past, which erupts to things in the current times that does not get better. We do not eat healthy. We're not drinking about a gallon to two gallons of water daily to make sure we're properly hydrated. And we're not really taking that affirmation that involves that chakra of I feel the sacral. So when you feel, you gotta feel strong. You gotta feel like nothing bothers you. You gotta feel like you are an unstoppable force to be reckoned with. You have to feel that no matter what anybody says, it will not affect you. In order to get into that state of mind, all the chakras have to be in alignment starting with that first one of the root going into the sacral which we're speaking about today and i want you to get that into alignment so if you're using a lot of your time just watching things on the internet not even paying attention half the time because you're you're having the tv on you're on your phone you start to get out of connection with your body and your feelings the reason why so many things were invented back then in the day is because the i'm pretty sure a lot of people chakras are in alignment that's why the masculinity and the femininity between the man and the woman was completely there. There was no problems with that. Now, like there's so much confusion. There's a lot more trauma. And sometimes it seems like a lot of that is self-inflicted because we don't want to necessarily deal with those traumas. And we resort to food. We resort to porn. We resort to toxic people. We resort to just doing things that's not going to better us as a whole. And by you not doing that, finding what really makes you, you happy, just excited to be here, that's when everything starts to get out of whack. And that's when you feel like you can't really do anything. You have a problem talking with women. You have a problem as a woman with men in relationships. You never have a long lasting relationship. You have a sex addiction. You have an alcohol, a drug addiction. All of those things stem from this chakra right here not being in order and not being in alignment with the seven so from this meditation hopefully really hone in and focus on this area what you're trying to do what you want to be and go towards it don't have that fear because once you have the fear and not doing things and not being brave and courageous you're automatically closing that chakra part off and you're not able to fully be you you're not able to just talk to a random girl you're not able to be fully vulnerable and have a long lasting relationship. And you're not able to get away from the internet and try to find something to feed an addiction that's endless and that is not going to help you at the end of the day. So I want you to get that in order. I want you to be of the ultraviolet, get to that highest level, the, cap, the crown chakra, and then enticing everything as a whole and being the best outstanding human being that you can be because I want you to be that we're all earthlings and we're all connected. So before we get into the meditation, find a nice place on the floor. If you need to drink a little water right before, drink a little water. You're going to get those hands on your knees and we're going to begin soon.
Thank you for joining me on this journey to the ultraviolet. And for more information on holistic health, check out whirlyfitrhino.com. But other than that, stay with peace and love, everyone. <laughs>